or freedom or starting school for the very first time. They're talking about superheroes. They're talking about playground slides. But in other places, they're dying. They're surviving. And many, somewhere in between. According to activists, this is Omran. <clears throat> he lives with his mom, his dad, and his brother and his sister. Their home is inside Aleppo, Syria. It was hit by a bomb, an airstrike. Who's behind it, we do not know. He and his family were pulled alive from what's left of their home after being buried in the rubble. <laughs> Omran is left inside that ambulance, alone, bloodied, as rescuers go back into the rubble looking for anyone else who may have survived. His family did. This comes just weeks after, just a week after the last remaining doctors inside Aleppo, they wrote a, a letter to President Obama begging for help. Today, the United Nations is asking for 48 hours of relief in the fighting to break a break from the violence between the government regime and rebel forces. In five years of war, more than 250,000 people have lost their lives. That includes 4,500 children in Aleppo alone. Millions more displaced without a home. Now that includes Omran. And what strikes me is we shed tears, but there are no tears here. He doesn't cry once. That little boy is in total shock. He's stunned inside his home one moment and the next lost in the, fl in the flurry and the fury of war and chaos. At least three people were killed by this bomb in this neighborhood. This is Omran. He's alive. We wanted you to know.